Hey y'all, it's a costume jeweler. Have I got a treat for all of us today? We are in Bradenton, Florida. You know why I came over here? I came over here to check out, not Unique Thrift Outlet, but the new red, white, and blue thrift store. We're going in there looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So hit that notification bell, click all, make sure it turns black so you're notified of all of my uploads, video uploads, live sales, buy it now, and things like that. Y'all have been wanting me to compare this red, white, and blue to the locations in Tampa. Here we go. Anything can be a hit or miss. Any antique store, thrift store, anything can be a hit or miss. You just got to go and look. But we are going into this huge thrift store next, and that will be a video for another day. But I'm going to knock both of these out right now. So again, hit that notification bell, click all, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up for the video. Let's go see if we can find treasures. There's going to be purses behind the counter. We're going to hit the ones. Ooh, wow, looky here. Let's go wall or... We're going to do the racks. I can't make up my mind. Wall or rack first? And so everything is beautiful. It's color-coded. Very neat store. First up is this bag right here. Y'all look at this. G Capri and Company. Regular 209. Good-looking bag. Not leather. We have this gold chain. Never heard of this before. There's your branding on it. So for a vegan leather bag, I think this is super cute. And for it to be 209, that makes me excited about buying it and reselling it. So I think we are going to pack this one up again. If you see my videos and we pack up anything, or you think I did in the video, shoot me an email and I'll definitely give you a price quote. If I didn't get it, I'll tell you. So here we go, same brand, G Capri and Company. And my big fat face right off in that. Here's another one, but in kind of a bronze color. But this one right here is too super cute. So they do have purses on the top racks. And this is, it's a super clean store, so I'm really excited about coming up here and super excited that there's another thrift store next door. What is this one? Don't know what that brand is. More of these Capris. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get that other one or not, because it seems like to me there's a lot of these. And I'm not really a big fan of seeing a lot of these purses. So I'm going to put this one back. There are also purses behind the counter. And I assume those are going to be higher end purses and more expensive. Never have I ever seen this brand before. It doesn't have a designer mark on the inside, so we're going to pass on it. Not pass on it just because it's not designer signed. It just seems like it's uh, vegan leather, not real leather, and I prefer real leather. Look at these shoes. So I know I have some Tignanello lovers out there, and I like the brand also, and I don't pick it up often, but we are going to get this one possibly. You got the long handles here. Green, brown handles. Look at that, y'all. Where's my Tignanello lovers when you need them? Go ahead and comment below. And it's brand new. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. I love this one. Here's the inside. If y'all have not ever subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I love shopping for purses. And if you do too, you've come to the right channel, especially jewelry. What do y'all know about pixie wood? Pixie mood, I'm sorry, look at that. Thank goodness I have a phone that zooms in well. What do y'all know about this one? Comment below, Pixie mood. Need, need another basket for all this stuff. We have got a whole wall of purses, just like at the other stores. Look at all these orange ones. Orange woven waffle. Here's hoping we find a treasure. A waffle fossil. Look at this one. Fossil crossbody. Yeah, if you've never been to the store in Bradenton, I would I would come. 
I mean, whether we find a lot of good stuff or not, it's a red, white, and blue. To me, it's a great store. And anything can be a hit or miss. There's another one. So this is like a bluish green. Bluish green, good condition. We may have to get this one too. This is great condition. Out of this one, so denim, clean. Here's the branding on it. Oh wow, this is Ellen DeGeneres' brand. I've never had that before. Wow. You go, Ellen. So here's what it looks like, y'all. Look at this. Very clean. We are getting this one for sure. So now we know if you ever see ED, that's Ellen DeGeneres. Wow. Another brand I've never seen before. Let's take a look at this one. This is a backpack bucket bag. Look at that. Oh wow, look at that. Oh gosh. So this is all leather. But look at that design right there on the front. Now that's a great bag. <laughs> There's the inside. We're going to get that one. Oh, wow. Here's a Mark Jacobs. I had a dream last night about a Mark Jacobs. So this one's brown. Side, see how it looks. And it has its crossbody strap. We are for sure getting this Mark Jacobs. Gosh, I love buying purses for y'all. Or is it for me? I don't know. What's this one? Is this connected to something vintage? It certainly is. Look at this. So this is going to be real leather. But this may, I don't know if this is croc embossed or if it's actually real reptile skin. I may have to take a better look at the rest of these too because I'm kind of picking through too fast. And I really need to pull these out. Like this right here, Amy Kestenberg. See what I'm saying? That's an example of why I need to look better. So we're going to have to start over. Because look at this one. So I've had this brand before. And I love this one. A little faded on the hardware, but not a big deal. Look at that. Getting it. And when I said it and that I need to pay more particular attention, here's why. Look at this. Amy Kestenberg. I nearly missed it. Amy is a really expensive brand, y'all. The outside looks in good condition. If you'll ever see this brand, you need to pack it up for sure. Bottom looks great too. The inside is okay, but there's a little bit of dirt at the top. And I don't know if that you can clean that or not. Love the hardware, but we're gonna have to think on that one. We'll decide at the end. You may or may not know if I got it, so just email me if you're interested in it. 
So let me kind of look through here again real quick because that Amy Kestenberg has really got me thinking I'm not looking close enough to most of these bags. And that is a no-no. You have got to pay particular attention. Particular attention. What do y'all know about David Jones? I don't know if David Jones is real leather or if it's expensive. Never heard of it before. So not sure. Ten yellow crossbody green, good condition. Not sure if we'll get this one too. We may need to. We're on a road with ten yellows right now. Black leather, Kate Spade. Mm, I don't know. It's very soft, and the condition looks like it's good. The inside is, outside's good. We're gonna think on this one. And this looks like leather. What is this one here? I'm telling you, there's just so many. So S zone is what this is called. If you've heard of it before, let me know. I like that it's real leather. Inside is good condition, and I'm liking the way it looks. Looking good condition, y'all. This is soft. I like that one. So far, so good, y'all. I give it an A+. Plus. When you come in here, tell them the costume jeweler sent you. What the funny thing is going to be is they're not even going to know who that is. They won't even know who that is, but do it anyway. I know y'all have heard of this brand before, Elliot Luca. Look at that one. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. One hundred percent leather. Very nice. I don't know if I could clean this one up or not, y'all. Look at this. It's a little bit of a dent right there. Yeah, you can wipe that off. Should I get it? It's not leather. That's a good brand too, but I'm going to pass on it because it's not leather. Crossbody paint, so I'm gonna pass on it. Probably a vintage David Bugman, who knows? Kenneth Cole born, definitely good shoes, probably good purses as well. We know that's gonna be real leather. Is that Anushka? Check that in just a second. Can't get, can't lose sight of what I'm doing. I get easily distracted all the time. Nine West. Easily distracted. Shocker. Is this real leather? What is this one? Lauren Ralph Lauren 67. It's a good looking bag. Thing is on the inside it's pretty dirty so we're gonna pass on it. Not sure what it retail value is. Y'all know I love my eel skin, right? Look at this winner, winner, winner with a free chicken dinner. Look at this one. Let's take you, let's just dance around this purse and look at it real quick. Wow. Here's the back of it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll be the only one with the ill skin tote looking that great. 
and vintage. Inside is perfect condition, and right there it says Made in Korea Eel Skin. We are getting that one, ladies, for sure. That's a big tote. Is this Anushka? It is not Anushka. I don't know if this brand came before Anushka wearable art. What is that, Jamie Lou or Jamie? I'm not sure what the last party is. Y'all know I love Anushka. This is not Anushka, but I think we're gonna get it. The inside looks good condition. And I love that it's hand painted. Inside is good condition. We're gonna get this one so far. What is this one right here? So this is Chico's y'all, look at this. That's a great bag and you know Chico's is super expensive. A really great bag. I'll tell you what, I think I spy Something in the back, I'm not sure what brand looked behind this one. This is called Liz Soto Handbags. Never ever heard of that one. Have y'all? Super cute one for sure. I believe that's suede. Spartina crossbody. We've had those wallets before. I think Spartina's a good brand. I always remember anything that I say is in my humble opinion. Let's qualify it my humble opinion. Are we just running all into all kinds of Tinianellos today? Might call this the Tinianello Superstore. I'll let y'all guess this one right here. What is missing right here though? There's something missing. This is Furla but there's something missing and I don't know what went there. I wish it wasn't missing something on the front or I'd probably get it. I don't know if that's where you'd put your strap if you're gonna hang it differently or what that is. No idea. Adorned. Never heard of that brand before either. Not sure that this one's real, y'all. I'm gonna pass on it. Oh, that's cute. Look at this Kohan, y'all. So, so far putting a lot of stuff in my cart, but I'll decide at the end what I'm gonna take with me home. <laughs> this is pretty. Lots of Vera Bradley here. I don't get Vera Bradley unless it's a solid color, kind of like this. And don't forget, like I always say, check out these, check out these um, computer bags because they could very well be something fancy. What is this bag right here? This would be a cute one to take to the grocery store. pictures see if they have anything like they did at the other red white and blue they had some great artwork yesterday at that one in Tampa look at this one $24.99 for this mirror to give you a kind of an idea without us pulling it out Look at this antique cabinet, y'all. $24.99 at 
$12.99. Very nice. Y'all know we love our trinket boxes. Look at this one. It's a silver plate. Cute vintage looking jewelry box. Let's see the inside. Or do they call those jewelry caskets? I used to collect this stuff all the time. This piece right here. Now this is cute too for your nuts. Oh, it's also beautiful, cute and beautiful for your nuts. You can put all your nuts in this one, I guess. Pecans, peanuts, walnuts, any nut. A Dooney wristlet. Look at this, y'all. This Brahmin has definitely been loved on. I'm not going to get it because it's so faded on the front. Nine West snake skin or faux snake skin. I've never heard of this brand before. It says it's designed in Italy right there, so you'd assume it's leather, but I'm not sure. Here's what it's called, y'all. I may get this one because it's just so beautiful and since it's designed in Italy, I like that. Look at it. A couple compartments right there. Fossil. Key wallet. Anybody ever seen a little leather compact like this? No mark on it, but a cheetah print cigarette case. Purses behind the counter. We'll get to those in a say Brighton cell phone wallet. But I'm not sure on that one because I think cell phones are a lot bigger now. So I'm not sure that, that would really fly too well with anybody. That might sit on the shelf for a while. Who knows? What is this one right here? Got that oxblood leather. This might be vintage. So I don't care that this has some rubs on it because I love the oxblood color of red. Let's check and see what brand. Here's the inside. And it's Coach. We're going to get it. Definitely going in the basket. Again, so far this store to me is an A+. Plus. Not that it matters. But y'all wanted me to come here. And I've been wanting to get here and y'all wanted me to tell you what I thought about it. And if you've been here, let me know what you think about it. But again, like any thrift store, it could be a hit or miss. But I think red, white, and blue gets good donations. So we're going to take a look at the jewelry now. It's this one right there. That's different. Nice bracelets. We're getting that one for sure. 
nice gemstone bracelet. Don't think I'm going to get it though, but I like it. I think I'm going to get this one, y'all. So this is not sterling silver, but it's Coldwater Creek, and these are real gemstones. I anticipate this was probably expensive. Real turquoise chips. They're cold. That doesn't mean they're real. I can't test them here. What is this? We're gonna check out some of this jewelry here. And then we're gonna hit that whatnot section over there. They've got lots of bags. <clears throat> I love this one right here. Look at that. The swinging pendulum. Isn't that what that is? It's not a pendulum. What is that? Double X. But what do y'all think about that one? Really liking that one. Just wished if I know that was Ruby or Garnet. All their gold selection. Sterling section. Try not to go too fast so y'all can actually take some of these in. You might have to back up, rewind it. Those are pretty. Rewind. Do we even say that now? Here we go with the brooches. That's a nice one with the turquoise. Look at that. Are these turquoise right here, y'all? I think I'm getting this one. This is nice.
So we'll think on some of those purses. We're gonna shop these tops real quick just to see if there's any trinkety boxes and things like that here. I mean, if I traveled for an hour, you might as well enjoy it. Right. Might as well enjoy your trip. Don't rush it. But I do want to go to the store next door also. this just a shared cup of wine usually I just have my own glass I'm not really used to sharing my wine there's succulent planter Pearl trinket. This is a very cool piece, but I don't believe the pearl in it's real, or else I would get it for sure. Told y'all I was doing the fence decor at the Airbnb. This is really nice. I think that would be pretty to hang out there, don't y'all? I told you about the idea of having um, wire, or not wire, but metal like flower tops and then having my friend Kim, which she does not know yet because I haven't asked her to paint like stems and things for the flowers. This is really pretty. Okay, I think we've looked everywhere we can at this point. Overall, I think this red, white, and blue is good. Any of them can be a hit or miss. I've enjoyed this one. It was definitely worth the hour-long drive. Definitely worth the hour-long drive. I love these right here. Look at this. look at this one I would get that if I didn't already have one but you know that would go out couldn't that go out by the um, bench out under the trees or not just hanging on the fence I think I like that idea and for $2.99 we'll put that out there because sitting under the trees on a nice old vintage bench why can't that be the porch right it doesn't have to be directly under the house Make up your own rules, right? Just make up your own rules. That's all you can do sometimes. And so I guess all their signage is right here on top of the shelves. I 
What is this? Seven ninety nine. Just so you know, too, they have lots of dishes as well. We'll look through some of these. Not everything. There might be some cute stuff in here. Like this piece. And this piece. And these. Aren't those great? Decorate those tables, ladies. Decorate those tables with different glassware. It doesn't have to all match at all. Look at this one. Made in France. Wow. $2.99 each, two of those. Look at these hand-painted floral bowls right there. It's gorgeous, too. Oh my gosh, and they're so heavy. You get like eight of them for $9, I think. For you Sarasota residents, I think that is Sarasota 1979. Minnesota. I'm so sorry. I just saw soda. My bad. Beautiful glasses. Love the decorated glasses. Look how great these are. What's the age on these ladies? Look at this. Six of this one. I think I've done enough damage, y'all. Look at this salt or pepper shaker. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell, click all, come to a live sale sometime. Beautiful jewelry, purses, and the most fantastic giveaways you'll ever have are on my channel. They are. True story. So y'all come on out to that. And until next video, we will see y'all later. Bye.